Chess.com is in Dubai, where the FIDE World Rapid and Blitz Championships are held in the third week of June. The venue is the beautiful Dubai Chess and Culture Club, and almost 100 grandmasters are playing, including Norway chess winner Sergei Kayakin. In fact, the world's top 7 travel to Dubai, where a $400,000 prize fund is at stake. The World Rapid Championship takes place on the first three days. It's a 15-round Swiss, with 5 rounds each day. The time control is 15 minutes plus 10 seconds increment each move. On the last two days the games are even faster, 3 minutes plus 2 seconds increment per move. After the first 5 rounds of the Rapid, 3 players are tied for first place with 4.5 points. Fabiano Caruana, Sergei Kayakin and Jan Nipomnyashi. At the end of the day we spoke with 5 participants. I'm just enjoying the tournament. Uh, it's, uh, compared to Norway there's no pressure. and uh, I'm just here, actually I just came for fun. Uh, but uh, I'm still trying to do my best and uh, we'll see what happens. If you're leading after two days, are you still playing for fun? <laughs> well, I think it's good to play for fun in general. Uh, if I lead after three days, I'll also play for fun. Um, but of course, I'm still trying to, to win uh, all my games. I mean, I'm trying to, to have the best result I can. But uh, I mean, I don't feel any pressure. It's just quite enjoyable. Is it difficult to uh, switch to a faster time control? The thing about Norway is that all my games, after more or less 10 or 15 moves, I had this time control, so, <laughs> so I'm quite used to it now. The switch is very difficult when you play two time controls in one day. I mean, in, in the old, let's say, World Cups, when the tie breaks were on the same day, those were tough, because uh, that is hard. But I mean, with a couple of days between events, I think you're, you're okay. And uh, Fabiano said he uh, was f playing here for fun, completely without pressure. How is that for you? Well, I would have, I would very much like to do well, but so probably would he. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's uh, generally there's more freedom here to do whatever you like than than in, in, in classical events. Even though I am taking it quite seriously, I'm not, I'm not, you know, splashing around and you know playing stupid stupid stuff just for the sake of it. But but generally, it's an easier easier event to play in uh, from this. I mean, in this viewpoint, I'm. F Fine with, uh, generally speaking, I'm fine with how it turned out. I'm on plus two, and you know, all to play for. Obviously, with two rounds, we, we still fold the full days to go. I mean, I lost a, a very, you know, a, a, uh, the young Chinese dude. He he crushed me completely in round two. And uh, apart from that, I think I played like a human being more or less. So, I mean, okay. uh, so far, so good. I can say that uh, my poor experience of previous World Championship. Uh, says me that uh, there is no big need to score so many points in the first rounds because okay if you fail in one of in any other day that probably means that you fail in the tournament so that's why I should just play uh, something something calm and uh, try not to be too bad or even maybe too good. <laughs> right. Yeah, you were quite unfortunate in uh, previous events. Uh, is this still in your mind when you're going here and you're playing, or do you think you can just forget about that and play on? I mean, it's not in my mind, but uh, of course I want to improve my previous result because uh, this uh, I can see that that was completely undeserved. But normally, when you have two and a half points uh, uh, lead uh, and you fail to keep it in for, in for the five rounds, then okay, actually you did something wrong. Yeah, but uh, of course I get some. Uh, positive experience from the last year, not only these bad emotions, but uh, I mean, uh, anyway, uh, every every time I play rapid, uh, I think it's my most most pleasant co time control for me because uh, somehow I can manage my time. But uh, okay, now I'm saying how good I, I am because I scored <laughs> a few wins today, but uh, I mean, still uh, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow there's a lot of work to do. Even especially that a lot of players have either the same amount of points or are very close to me. So undefeated uh, after the first day, uh, I guess you're satisfied. Yeah, well, I'm not really satisfied with my play, and uh, in the last game against uh, Raga, I was actually just uh, lucky to escape. So, but uh, yeah, okay, uh, plus two is not a bad uh, result, but uh, well, I d I didn't have the feeling that I was uh, really. Uh, Having a rough uh, tournament, although the tournament is extremely strong. What, what were your strongest opponents? Uh, Fabiano and Kwang Lim. Okay, that's so not so bad. That's not so yeah. bad, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, and I had some 
funny games with them, but uh, in the end it was both a draw. But uh, and I beat uh, one guy from Qatar and one guy from uh, Emirates. So, yeah. <laughs> is it difficult for you uh, to uh, get in into the play because you don't play very much anymore? Is it difficult in the first couple of rounds to be to get sharp or not? Well, actually, uh, just before the the tournament, uh, I had uh, first of all I just came from a, a blitz tournament in uh, Morocco, yeah. which I actually by accidentally I won. Then I went to Switzerland to play some semi-blitz, semi-rapid tournament, and uh, I won a bike. <laughs> you, you won a bike? Yeah, actually the, the first two prizes were, were bikes, and actually I had my, uh, I want to win the mountain bike, because I, I needed a, a new bike to get back in shape, uh -huh. so, and... Uh, you once won a horse, and yeah. didn't you win a car once also, or...? Uh, no, I didn't didn't win a car, but uh, but but uh, but but the horse. You I won. crashed the car. I, yeah, I crashed a, a few cars. Yeah, <laughs> but and I won some money. And I, in uh, especially in uh, the Groningen uh, World Cup, uh, I won that much money that uh, half of the money was uh, for the taxes, and half of the money I I, I paid off my car. So, <laughs> but uh, no, and um, so and then after I came here, and just before I played some warming up blitz match with uh, Salem. Uh, I got uh, I got beaten. N nevertheless, I was uh, into uh, now into into uh, chess playing mode. Okay, very good. And uh, yeah, what do you expect uh, from the rest? Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just I, I just play game by game by game, and uh, I mean, of course, there are no real favorites in this tournament. It's just uh, and it's uh, purely decided by your form of, of the day and. You have some few guys who just came from Stavanger. I think they are pretty tired, and maybe, uh, and you have some specialists, and and you have uh, some guys like me who just here just uh, for you know like uh, for, fun. For, for, for fun. Well, I mean, it's it's the tournament of the year in, in my opinion. So at least, uh, well, well, I can say oh, Olympiad is also uh, right. also important, but uh, I mean, it's just fun to be here. Many players say here that uh, they're playing this a little bit for fun, they don't feel the pressure. How is this with you? Yeah, sure, it's just an open tournament, so basically you cannot play open tournament series. It's, of course, for all fun, so... The Rapid or Blitz ratings, they are not so important? Well, of course, they have their own merits, but uh, I mean, if you want to qualify for some events, so if you want to play more regular, if you want to get special conditions, I mean, you have to take care about the rating. But uh, and actually, I think it's quite uh, justified to have uh, in a modern chess this uh, special division for this ra for these ratings. But uh, at the same time, I can't say that you should overestimate them and you know try to raise your elo or something like that. I mean. It, Obviously, it's not my case, so... And um, you won uh, a recent tournament in uh, Boykovsky. Um, congratulations. Um, yeah, did, did, you, did you feel you, you played a, b a better chess than in recent years? Uh, how do you explain your uh, success there? <laughs> uh, well, it's hard to say. Basically, in 2013, I was completely exhausted. Uh, I mean, physically, and I was completely exhausted playing chess non-stop. So, I mean, I had uh, two problems at the end of the year. So that's why the end of the year I was playing uh, extremely idiotically and uh, quite, uh, quite in a way that uh, even I should not play, let's say. And, uh, okay, I had these two problems. I need first to, um, to come up with a better physical condition at the same time to... Uh, make my uh, appetite for the chess back. So obviously it, it's not so easy to um, to succeed with uh, two uh, problems. So at least I decided to rest from chess and uh, in Porkoski at least I was able to fight finally. So finally I really changed my bed at and I was full of desire to fight and to play fighting chess to try to be creative uh, even at the cost that I was taking too much risk at, at certain games. But uh, uh, from the chess point of view I mean, obviously that was in a very poor form and uh, I think almost in every game I was um, at some point uh, committing serious blunders, I mean, over the board or during my cal calculations. So basically to win the tournament in such a condition, it obviously was a great piece of luck and I wasn't really expe expected this. And uh, okay, maybe I was uh, quite uh, pragmatic when I decided after the 
a fifth round that is really it's really enough and I should dress, just try to make as many as many as many draws as possible. Okay, it was easier to make two draws with white, but with uh, two games with black I was suffering in balls, but just very almost on the edge on every game, but again I was lucky to draw both of them and it was uh, sufficient to take the first place.